y'all. Uh, great things. Very grateful. I got a screen print screen in. So, I was thinking this might be, this might be fun, right? How fun is that? You and me, babe. You and me, babe. It's just nothing else like you. We're ready to go. Here's what they look like. There is a dull side that has the screen on it, and then there is the side that has the etching or whatever that lets the the underglaze through. And I know it's important which side goes face up, but I don't know which side it is that needs to go face up. So that is number one thing to figure out. Okay, so directions are helpful. Um, let me see if... Okay, look at this corner versus this corner. The dull side goes up. So the screen side goes up. So on this side, you can't feel a ridge. On this side, you can. There's a ridge. So, ridges go down, the dull side goes up. Barrier number one. Taken care of. So, aside from what side goes up, the rest of it is pretty off, off the books for pottery purposes. You know what? I should probably start with the smaller of the two stencils. Um, but if the silk screen moves, then uh, say goodbye to your work is basically what it says. If the silk screen moves, you're screwed. say that's okay. All right, now I got a rib with a flat side. Wahoo. Now what? Oh. That's not pretty. That's not pretty! Hey, I just got two good prints. I was using too much underglaze. That first one was just too much underglaze. There's the other one. So that first one was just too much underglaze. So as soon as that dries or I get it cleaned off, I should be able to print it again. The other thing is that second one printed real good and I didn't even touch the stencil. I didn't have to clean it or nothing. So I put it on the rib. Kind of like that. That may even be too much. And then watch. One swipe. Done. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How cool is that? Look at
like I can just move the paper over. Uh, let's, let's see here. Let's see here. I may, I may not have enough paper here. I don't want to get into the antenna over there. Let's, let's, we'll see. Worst case scenario, it gets on the cabinet, right? Oh, big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up some of this. It's already on here. Swipe! What do we got? Let's see what we got. Ooh! Oh, this is so cool! <laughs> this is so cool! Okay. This one over here in the thinner areas is beginning to dry. So after it dries, I should be able to paint the butterfly. Yeah! Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! <laughs> Yay! Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna wash this because I do want to get some prints of this. The other thing is, so with my whole theory here of just the one swipe, this is not the same size. So, how's that? Oh, I have a squeegee! I have a squeegee! I have a squeegee! Woohoo! Okay! Okay! Yo, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. <laughs> I guess we'll see. This is your reality TV at its best. Reality YouTube. Ha <laughs> ha! Ready? Not enough. But that's okay. That's okay. So several really great flowers so I can cut those out and use those as individuals and that'll be just fine okay okay so a uh, bigger sheet needs more ink underglaze Okay, here we go again. I put it in the bottle. I squeezed it on the top. Let's see if I got enough this time. <sighs> okay. Okay. So it had dried a little bit and apparently clogged some of the holes in the sheet. I don't have enough paper to do it again, just to kind of see. Let's, let's try misting it. Oh, I think I got too much water on it that time. Now, let's go. Did I print anything there? Oh, wow. 
check that out. So if it is too watery, that's interesting. Yeah, okay, so I don't know, answer to that, okay. Yeah, it's really muddy. Okay, however, so I'm kind of wondering if I lay that back down now, if that stuff being dry on the back will be a big deal. So let's find out. Passes. Yeah, apparently that's a big deal. Let's see if just one pass will change that. Kinda. And kinda not. You can see. Okay, so I gotta go wash my stencils. Oh man, I'm so excited about this. Uh, these are, so you can see the difference here. These ones are dry and they look gray, but that is still the Mako Jet Black. Um, and like this one, the first one that I did is kind of fuzzy on the edges, but this last one that I did is crystal clear and clean. Oh, I love it. Oh, this was the first one I did. That one looks really good too. Okay, and this one, man, this one is crystal clear, crystal clear. And then this one is still drying. Um, and there were a few that printed real well, but the rest of them are showing the holes getting clogged in the stencil. So, we don't want to clog our stencil holes. <laughs> this is so This is so cool. This is so cool. I am seeing this on cake plates. I'm seeing this on um, mugs. I'm seeing this on all sorts of things. I'm seeing some of those, some of these on the sides of fairy houses. Of course. finished products all over the place got a nice nice couple of really really nice prints I also printed on some tissue paper and that really surprised me I also learned the lesson yet again about which side goes up you must put the dull side up ask me how I know um, but easy screen is the brand the great thing about it is that you can totally make your own design. They have this whole kit and this whole thing where I can make a fairy and put that little fairy on everything that I do because I love it. Um, but even on wrinkly, so this is a really old piece of tissue paper, like some of these prints are totally usable. Um, but yeah, there is an element as to, honestly, I think how good your squeegee is 
as it pulls down because it was fine at the top in most cases it was good on the side in most cases but if you didn't have even pressure over the squeegee it did not print on on the wrinkly tissue paper but i also got out some um new brand new tissue paper and i had mixed results with the brand new tissue paper but um this is brand new and you can't really see but i have mixed results with that so next we will definitely be putting these onto a uh, leather hard slab for sure um i will probably color a few of them and see how they see how they transfer Things are coming. Here I go again on my own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Emily, don't drip. You want it on the squeegee. Thank mm -hmm. you. 